making fantasy worlds was always something that excited me because you can make people perceive an entire new experience. My name is Jonas Manke and I'm the solo developer of Omno and the founder of Studio Inkyfox. Before I started with the production of Omno, I was a character animation artist for roughly 10 years and I was working mostly in the film and television industry. Initially, the Omno figure was just a test rig for me to see how animation works within the Unreal Engine and I felt like that little character deserves some more than just being, you know, ripped apart and pulled on. So I created just for myself as a learning experience a little landscape around him. It took roughly half a year or so until I had something on my hands where I felt like this looks kind of cool. And then it took another eight months or so until I decided to not pick up any further animation jobs, but instead go full time on Omno and see where the journey goes. For me as a solo developer, there's no one you can bounce your ideas with, right? You, can, uh, you, you can't get feedback on everything instantly. There's no team that taps your shoulder and goes like, just keep moving. Um, when you're in doubt, then basically the entire production is stuck. The Mega Grant gives you the moral boost and gives you like a true indicator that you're working on something that's promising and that it's worth it to pursue and that someone's believing in you. That's a message with a really big impact. So growing up with fantasy stories and fairy tales and mythology, I'd always been wanting to tell stories. So I set on a quest to do that. My name is Alejandro and I'm a producer here at Conical Studios in New Zealand. And we're working on a game that spun out of the epic Mega Grand project called The Green Fairy. When we started, we just had this one simple goal of bringing a whole lot of creatives together to make The Green Fairy, a virtual reality movie about this character. And we just wanted to dive into that content more and tell more about The Green Fairy and more about this fairy world. We were able to try out virtual reality, then we moved on into augmented reality, and uh, then into like video and animation. And it started to become this really cool transmedia project. And it's all an evolution of this Green Fairy IP that we started out with. I think the Mega Grant allowed us to explore this fairy world a bit more. We took our original fairy project to a very next level and it allowed us to bring up the quality like tenfold. So it ignited that passion that we were like, with a bit more money, imagine what else we could do. The Epic Mega Grant really helped us pave the way to the seed funding that we received for Conical to start working on our ultimate fairy project, which is this video game. It's given us the opportunity to create a video game studio and do something that we're passionate about. Without that, I don't think we would come this far. Being a husband and wife team has shaped Snacko in many ways. And we've grown really close to each other as a result of it. I'm Jordan. And I'm Erisa. And we both make up Blue Curse Studios and we're working on our first game, Snacko. So this all started, I had one cat, Mikan. And then when we met, we adopted another black cat together, Momo and those two kind of became the base of Snacko. And then we got four more cats somehow. <laughs> and so now we have six cats. When this project started, we were at a pretty stable place in life. I was a, a full-time software developer making a pretty decent salary. And you were just about to go into the games industry uh, on your own. And then we kind of said, you know what? We're not going to do that. Let's do the hardest thing possible. <laughs> then, let's then, have no income. Yeah, let's have no income and then try to get people to tr like 
trust in our vision. But I want to say that the, the mega grant came at the perfect time for us because it was like there was a lull of activity and opportunities for the game. And we were kind of getting demotivated or scared a little. When we got the mega grant, we got emails back again from publishers or people who wanted to support the project. People started taking it more seriously. They did. So that sort of confidence boost from Epic Games saying that all scales of production are valid and all ways of going about video game development are valid was a huge help. Hi, my name is Nildu. I'm the owner of FX Animation Studios, and right now we're working on the, what will be the first animated feature film coming from Mozambique called Kibwe, which is part of the Troublemakers project. Kibwe is a project that's being done mostly by me and my wife. And our idea to make this project came because we felt that there was a need for local content. Our local TV station would mainly show us content that comes from abroad and we felt that our kids needed something that they would be able to identify themselves with. We tried our best to make our characters look as African as possible and as Mozambican as possible. We don't want this movie to be just made in Mozambique. We would like for it to be made in Mozambique by Mozambican people. Most productions that are done here are basically done with the help of foreign investment and that can most of the time compromise the vision of each project. And we don't want to have that compromise. Wow. Receiving the epic mega grants was a light at the end of the tunnel. It allowed us to tell the stories as we envisioned them to. And this for us is very important. We want to be able to put Mozambique on a map and we want people to know where we are and who we are.